How's it going everybody? Castro89 here with another Rust Electronics tutorial. Today I have a slight modification to my advanced battery backup system that I made, this time with emergency power added to it. Um, not a huge difference from that system, but it does add an extra layer that can be useful. Um, let me show you how to set that up. First off, I am running a wind turbine for this one powering out to this root combiner here. Um, we'll come back to this second one in a bit. Anyways, this root combiner power out, I want you to run down to an electrical branch. Um, this branch out is going to power your batteries. So I have it set to 70 and this branch out from here is coming down to this electrical branch, setting this one to 30 and powering out to the second one also set to 30 on this branch out now you can add more to this system if you want to do more batteries I just have two for now you got a lot of power and you want to boost up your battery power backup by all means have at it this is a way you can do that so from back to this electrical branch the 30 power is going to run out to the power in here and the same from the second one to the power in on the second battery. So those are all charging up. All right, now back to that first electrical branch. Your power out is going to come to a counter. This is optional. I just added this to see what my current power is so I can see what's coming into the system before it goes out. So I have 70 currently. And all I got to do to do that, you hold E and it'll say pass through that simple. You will lose uh, one power, but not really a big deal. Anyways, the pass through there, I'm uh, running down to a switch so I can turn the main power on and off at will. Always good to do that. And from that output, I'm running to this electrical branch, and I'm running that power out to another electrical branch. And from this other one, I'm running to this XOR switch which is the main feed power out to the rest of my base. Coming back to this electrical branch, I have it set to two, and it is run to, running to this blocker. Now this blocker is for battery one, that's what we'll call it for now. Um, so you want the power in, from the power out of battery one, into this blocker. Now this is the part that can get a little confusing, so stick with me here we're going to, a little bit of leg, take the power out, run it to this electrical branch here, and then you're going to take the power out and run it to this XOR switch. And the branch out, you're going to run into this other XOR switch. Next, come back up here to this branch or this electrical branch here, this branch out is going to run into this XOR switch as well. This is so this has power to block this switch, whether it be from here or from the backup battery, because if you do not do that, this battery will continuously run through here and won't be blocked, and you need to block it. So that's the way you do that. Uh, from there, it's very simple, you come back to this blocker, you're going to run your power out from battery 2 to power into this blocker. And then here's where the little modification is to add the third layer to this power system. You're going to run your power out to an electrical branch. From that power out, you're going to hook it up to this XOR switch for your battery systems. You have two here. And then hook up the power out to the other side of this XOR switch going out to the rest of the base. I'm going to come back to this electrical branch. Don't look at the wires, you'll get confused. But it's just running to this electrical branch down here. Now I'm going to make another video where I modify this where these are not running continuously. This system currently that I have here, it will run nonstop till these run out of fuel or you shut them off yourself. Um, I don't want to do that, but I haven't figured it out quite yet. Uh, when I do, I will post an update on how to do that but for now this is a, a way you can do this so anyhow this branch I have set to 5 so it gives enough power to power these both 
uh, comes down here to this electrical branch, the power in. Take the power out from that one to another one. And if you want to add more of these to this system, you simply need to add more electrical branches and more generators and just hook up the branch outs as you want to. Currently, you'll get 40 from each, so we got 80 here. And that's it, really. That's all you got to do. Pretty simple. Just like the batteries here. You want more batteries? Just add more electrical branches and hook them up. Pretty simple. So what will happen is, let's say my wind turbine was destroyed. Um, and I'm not getting power anymore from this. Battery A is going to kick on until it dies. It has a maximum of four hours each battery that gets fully charged. So I'll get four hours, then this one will die, and then this one will kick on. And when this battery two kicks on, it's going to kick on these generators. Uh, let me show you what happens when that happens. Let's just, let's for the sake of um, hypothetically thinking here, set this was zero right now, okay? Let's say our wind turbine was destroyed. These will kick on and add 80 power back to our root combiner here and hopefully give us enough power to recharge these batteries up some and hopefully enough power to give our base some uh, electricity until we can get online and fix our problem. Um, so yeah, pretty easy. Um, I don't know if I showed this or not, but make sure you take the branch outs here to the four starts on each generator you hook up. And then uh, the power outs, combine them in a root combiner and run that root combiner back to your original power system. This is the only way it'll work. It will not work with a switch or electrical branch. Uh, root combiners are kind of picky. This is the only way I've found that works. Um, and yeah, you have an emergency backup. Now that'll recharge your batteries. And if you, you added more of these, it will uh, give you enough power, hopefully, to keep your base going for a substantial amount of time, at least until hopefully you can get online. So with this really uh, basic system, you got a pretty powerful power source that uh, could be utilized in many different ways. I uh, hope that helps everybody out. Um, keep an eye out for an updated video for a, a timed um, emergency backup. I will be trying to figure that out as uh, I progress with these things. And thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you later.